I think that if we can defeat a few very popular non-free programs that whose developers have market clout, and if we can, in at least many parts of the world, resist the prohibition of free software that exists to some extent in the U.S. and in Europe, then I think we'll get to a point where non-free program, where non-free software, no longer has the, a shot at, at being dominant. Whether it will continue to some extent, I don't know. In the U.S., there are two different laws that prohibit many kinds of free software. One of them is the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which has been used to prohibit free software for playing a DVD. So if you want to play a DVD at this point in the U.S., either you get an underground copy of DECSS to play it with, or you do it with non-free software. We can't win if we are, we can't serve the public if we are prohibited from doing so. The other law in the U.S. that prohibits many kinds of free software and could prohibit anything is patent law. You see, in the U.S., a software idea can be patented. And that means for 20 years, nobody's allowed to use it except one. And typically, you know, in most cases, we can't get a license to use it in free software. Now, this can prohibit free software in any area of computing. But to see how, how bad the problem is, you have to consider that one program, if it's a substantial program, is a combination of many different ideas, hundreds or thousands of ideas. And each one of them might be patented. So how do you combine so many ideas to make a program? You basically can't. Any software developer in the U.S. is taking a constant risk of getting sued for developing software. Now, people recently did a study of Linux, which is the kernel of the GNU slash Linux system. And they found that this one program, which is a quarter of 1% of the system these days, is was covered by apparently 286 different U.S. patents. Now, this is not to say that all of those patents would hold up in court if there were a trial. Well, let's suppose half of them wouldn't. Well, that would just leave you with 140 or so. And one of them is enough to destroy your program. <clears throat> Microsoft is using software patents in a desperate bid to wipe us out. Microsoft, I'm told, is getting several patents per week. Microsoft internal documents several years ago said that they intend to use patents to try to make free software uh, impossible as competition for them. 